So the location of Drax is all about geography. This site was originally put here because of access to affordable coal, but the other important aspect of Drax's location is water. To run a power station of this size, you need access to water resources. So we're located close to the River Ruse, where we can take water out to cool the system and keep the plant operational. Drax Power Station used to be the, the largest coal-fired power station in Western Europe, um, providing secure, reliable power for the UK. But its role has changed as the needs of the UK energy system have changed. For me, Drax and Drax's history is a story of change and transition. And when we've converted Drax from coal to biomass, it's meant that the UK's electricity grid has actually decarbonised quicker than any other electricity grid in Europe. Drax Power Station was built uh, on the old Selby coal fields that were discovered in the late 60s. And it was the last power station to be built in the area. And it was the biggest. I came, came up to Drax in 1970 with the Cape insulation and we was more or less the first ones on site to start insulating the boilers. It was it's amazing. Job-wise, I mean, at one time, I believe it employed about 3,000 people. The privatisation of the then CGB, the nationalised industry that ran all of power generation in the UK up to the end of the 80s, was a huge moment for Drax and the industry. Uh, for Drax, it meant more opportunity, it meant uh, more freedom to invest in things that made sense locally here, and ultimately, it meant the opportunity to convert to biomass. From where I grew up locally, if you were on that, the right hill, you could see Drax Power Station, Ferry Bridge Power Station, Eggborough Power Station, Cotton Power Station, and West Burton Power Station. And with a little bit of a drive, you could even get to Ratcliffe Power Station. So coal fire power stations were all around me when I grew up. I remember Drax coming into schools and colleges, and, and it's how I had a part to play there. A lot of people in the community um, are either employed directly through Drax, or work on the site, or employed for for some of the supply chain and, and support network that goes around it. It makes a huge impact to the community around us. What I love most about my job is um, the idea that I'm directly involved in tackling net zero. I'm now in the innovation team um, and essentially what we're doing is we're going to keep looking at new opportunities, trying to solve problems that the business has now and might face in the future and that might be through adapting the way that we operate the plant, new technologies, um, or even new markets and new products. And we've got another important transition that we need to enable going forward, and that's turning what is a power station that provides secure, reliable biomass power for the nation into one that can provide carbon removals too. So um, as the needs of the power system have changed, the role of the power station is changing, but it's got a vitally important role going forward to provide secure power and carbon removals. BEX is bioenergy with carbon capture and storage. So essentially what that means is it's a new uh, process piece of equipment that we will be installing um, at the power station, which essentially takes the carbon dioxide out of the flue gas that's currently emitted, and then it stores that underground Drax has a really important role in pushing that power through the national grid system, making sure that it gets to the locations um, to keep people powered and keep the kettles boiling and keep the lights on. I'm tremendously proud that Drax has got to its 50th anniversary. It's a key milestone for everybody who works here. We're in great shape with our conversion to sustainable biomass and with Bex we're looking at hopefully another 50 years. Bex technology at Drax Power Station will provide a long-term and critical future for this asset, helping to sustain jobs and growth and opportunities in this region. It will continue to be a beacon, not just for power generation, but for decarbonisation, an emblem for how we can change the way in which we produce electricity and we keep the lights on around the country. Mm -hmm.